driving all day. Oh, yeah. Just knowing guys, right? Don't you know a bunch of guys? Yeah, I know a lot of guys. I mean, uh, just a lot of good players on that team, make shots, play defense. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be a battle, but we'll be ready for it. Joey, did you see the buzzer beater? Uh, I did not. I was in here just getting ready to go, but I, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll see it all over social media. What, what are your emotions heading into, you know, the biggest game of uh, your career of the season? Yeah, I'm calm, um, you know, excited for it, confident. I'm um, just going to go out there and, and, and um, you know, do what I've been doing for this team. Um, just making all the right plays, playing defense, knocking down shots when I'm open, and um, just taking all the good ones, um, you know, and just be a leader with my voice and, um, you know, try to bring this group together as much as possible and then just make sure we're, uh, you know, ready to go and prepared for the game. So, um, you know, it is the national championship, but I know we're going to be we're going to be calm and, uh, you know, just get out there and play our game. You know, you played against a lot of those guys in the summertime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro-Ams, open gyms in San Diego. Um, you know, even back home, they got two dudes from the Bay Area on their team um, who I'm good friends with. So we work out together and, uh, you know, I know pretty much everyone on that team. So it'll be it'll be a fun, uh, fun game for me. Talk about the heart Jordan showed coming back tonight after, you know, being out sick. Yeah, he's a he's a warrior. Um, but we knew yesterday um, when he was really sick that he would, uh, you know, he would get himself healthy and be able to go tonight. Um, obviously, limited minutes for him. But, you know, when he was out there, you really couldn't tell if he was sick or not. Um, you know, he's just a dude who just loves getting in the gym and, and working on his craft. And, um, you know, even when he's sick, he's going to come out here and perform like he did tonight. So. Um, just credit for, to uh, credit to him for just being who he is and, and the type of character that he's uh, that he has. Any surprises still? Figure Alex's match for hitting the buzzer beaters before halftime. It's pretty. I mean, uh, you know, credit to uh, Tristan for making that pass to him. Um, he got some room on the baseline and found him, uh, you know, on that left wing. And um, you know, if you get AK a wide open look more times than not, he's gonna knock it down. So uh, just credit to both those guys for making a huge uh, momentum play for us going into halftime. You talk about the three you hit. Coach is yelling. For you to come over and slap his hand, what like what is that? Yeah, I mean he feeds off the off our energy, and uh, you know we feed off him. Obviously, you know there's no, there's no better feeling than when he gets excited for a play that you make, and um, you know I love that guy to death and everything that he's done for me and my career, and uh, obviously for the UConn program, he really deserves this and, and deserves the shot at the national title. Is uh, you know him as well as the rest of the coaching staff really just put in the hours and and you know some of the hardest working guys that I've ever been around in my life. So um, just credit to them. Joe, any surprises tonight? At all? No surprises. No, we come into every game thinking that we're going to be come out on top and um you know just playing like we've been playing you know we're as as confident as people can get so um no surprises at all you know on our end jordan gets the first three then adama hits two in a row what i mean what does that feel for you guys like i know you were on the bench but you guys see you guys celebrating and just what does that do for the team when he's yeah. hitting the threes yeah i mean you just know it's going to be a good shooting night from us um you know anytime you can get hawkins a good look at a three you you assume it's going to go down. Um, Dama has put in countless hours and, and worked on his three-point shot. So we got the utmost faith in, in his jump shot. And, you know, if he has his feet set and a little bit of space on the perimeter, we want him to let it fly. So um, that's what they did, and they were falling for us tonight. So just uh, credit to the, those two dudes for their hard work. How much does that help you guys, though? It's, if he's hitting a the three, they, you, they got a guard. They, you guys have more space. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're talking about Adama? Yeah. When yeah, I mean, that, when, when he hits one or two and they got to start pressing up on him, you see he uses his shot play, shot fake and gets to the rim and one dribble. You know, it really opens the game for him and the rest of us as well. So it, it brings the big out of the paint and, you know, makes him press up on him and guard him better so we can attack the rim. Um, you know, so it's just, uh, you know, that's how basketball works. When you got a big man as skilled as him and he can knock down the three, you know, the floor is going to be more spread out for everyone else.